Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. The peppered moth evolution is an amazing story that illustrates how evolution works. Basically, what happened was before the industrial evolution, most moths were white. And that's because they blended in well with these white colored trees. For instance, in the image on the left, you can hardly even see the white moth. But if you look closely enough, it's right there. Okay? And the reason most of the moths were white is because it was much better to hide them from predators, right? Like this black moth it's easily visible and a predator would easily be able to pick it up, right? But due to the Industrial Revolution and all the pollution that it created, now the trees became black and the black moth had a much better time hiding, right? And the white moth was much easier for predators to pick off, right? So the proportion of black moths to white moths increased dramatically. In fact, to the point that 95% of the moths became black. It's amazing how quickly things can change genetically when there is an environmental change. With that understanding in mind, let's take a second look at the answer choices. Answer choice A matches up really well with the story we just talked about. Natural selection can quickly change allele frequencies and common phenotypes in a population, just like we saw with the white moths being overtaken by the black moths due to a change in their environment. Now, answer choice B may look tempting, but if you use your critical thinking skills, you'll realize that one instance of something does not mean it's always going to take place. Just because the moths are able to adapt to their environment does not mean that's always going to be, ca be the case for any species. Therefore, we can eliminate answer choice B, making answer choice A the best answer choice here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.